question 46 permutations, and this is a median legal question. Give an array of nums of distinct integers, for example, that they give you nums of 1, 2, 3. Return all the possible permutations, and then you can return the answer in any order. So the permutation is just asking you different combinations. If you look at the answer here, they give you three numbers, so you can have the combo result as 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, and uh, if it starts 2, then you can have 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, and 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. Basically, basically six different types of combos, and if they give you 0 and 1, and you can only have 2, 0, 1, and a 1, 0, and if only give you 1, then you only return the um, number itself. So here are some constraints here. And this is an uh, interview question asked by Facebook, eight times Amazon, Google, and in the last six months. It's a pretty um, high frequency question. And if you look, <laughs> if you look at <laughs> this question, you can kind of tell that this is a typical backtracking question because it asks you to find the permutation, subsets, all combos, any type of these questions are all backtracking questions. So if you are familiar with that first search, it's actually really, really similar. Um, the idea is that we want to use uh, backtracking to find out all the permutations. And I, in this um, permutation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write a backtracking function and then um, uh, set the base case so if the the length of the uh the subset of like this guy the length is same as the length of numbers then this is like one of the result right so we want to append the result to append this subset as part of the result and that's the base case otherwise i'm just gonna do for i in the range and um if Basically, I have to go through each number, um, each number at different indexes. If I have not visited this number before, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use a hash set so that I won't visit the same number again. And I'm going to add the number to the to the visit set, and then I'm gonna run the backtracking on its neighbor, kind of like a defer search. So backtracking on the subset and the, the the subset will be at the next number so one and two right one two is not the answer is we won't append this to the result is because the length is less than the um the total length of the nums so we won't append that to the result in that case we're gonna remove and after that, we're going to backtrack it. So we're going to remove that from the visit set. And that's the uh, basic idea. And uh, I will have to um, pass multiple parameters. And I feel that backtracking questions are sort of like a template. And you kind of have to remember it, like the base case when you want to terminate that. And you basically do the uh, that first search and how do you want to uh, run all these neighbors. Um, yeah, so I think you will understand better when I show you um, in code. It's actually quite straightforward. So like I mentioned, I'm going to use our uh, hash set for the visit. So for each number that I add, I'm going to like at each number I add a one, right? I'm going to add it to the visit set when I run the back uh, call the back uh, backtracking function recursively. So I'm going to set a result equals to rest and I'm going to uh, define a backtracking result, uh, the function, and I'm going to say result and then I'm going to do a subset. And subset is basically something like this or something like one or something like one, two. And it's just part of the uh, backtracking function. So remember the I mentioned to you, it's kind of like a template. Like when you write a, a backtracking function, you want to first determine 
when you want to exit this, basically when you want to uh, terminate this like a base case. So like I mentioned, if the subset length, like if you get one, two, three, or you get one, two, one, three, two, and during the backtracking process, if the length is already equal to the length of nums, right? In this case, we want to append the one, two, three number to the final result. Yep. So this is the base case. Then I'm going to go through each number in, <laughs> sorry, excuse me. So for I in range length of nums. So for each number in this nums list, right, I'm going to go through each numbers. And if I not in visit. So if I have not used this I yet, what I'm going to do is I first going to visit add. I'm going to add I first so that I won't reuse the I again. So if I start with one, right, I can only have two and three to choose from for the next recursive call. So then after this, I'm going to uh, backtrack. I'm going to run the backtrack. And if you look at the two parameter, I pass one is the result, right? The second parameter is the subset, basically the sub uh, sub uh, set of the final answer. And what you wanted to do is when I run the backtrack, let's say if I put a one there and I have two to two or three to choose from and the next step, what I'm going to do is actually the subset subset plus plus the the nums I actually because I here is the index is basically zero, one, two. That's the index. But nums I is one, two, three, right? So then I'm going to add two as the next number. So when you when you recursively do it once, right? And then basically that's it. And after I visit the um, the number and I want to, I, after I run the backtracking, I want to remove the I so that I can, when I, when I pop back up, when I pop back up, try to find the other combos, I will still be able to use the number that I previously used already. So for the backtrack, you need to remember to pop back up. And then that's the main part of the uh, backtracking. And then I'm going to call the backtrack function here. And then if you look at the result is result is result, right? It will just return a list. And then the subset is um, is um, I'm just going to pass uh, this as subset. And then in the end, I want to return the result. I think that's it for the uh, backtracking function. Yep, accept it. And please, if you think this is helpful, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon with more legal questions. Bye bye.